performing sex to get cocaine. Okay? Well, that was his payment, it would seem like. Yeah, we, I wasn't yeah. there, but obviously that's yeah. an easy payoff for these wealthy right. men who have, in many cases, as much as they need. So they'd pick up these young guys, uh, take them up to their condos or whatever in yeah. the district, and uh, and they'd have uh, they'd have fun and games. That's uh, right. And do drugs. A diamond head is full of that. Like, if you, there's a lot of wealthy gay guys who live in the Diamond Head area. You know, they're, okay. they're, even to this day, it's like that. And it was like that then, too. All right. Well, he might have been a favorite amongst them because of his uh, ethnicity, his mixture. That, that's a little yeah. bit exotic uh, in yeah. that community. Okay. So we've established no question in your group, homosexual all the way. You never saw, him, with, never saw him date a woman? No, de- definitely not. I think I knew, or I'm just going to say, I think some somewhere, you know, he he when, when he do Punahou, Remember, he's a chameleon and he compartmentalizes. Sure. So there, uh, you know, when Barry's in Punahou, he's doing Punahou, and when he's Barry's in another element, he's doing another element. And he knew we all did not go to Punahou, so none of us would be sitting on campus come the fall to tell his summer stories for him. Mm-hmm. But I think. You know, he was the type, I think, that would have, like, maybe asked a girl to a dance or something like that to just play the punahou role. Got it. But let me tell you the story, though. Like, here I am. I was cute back then, okay? I mean, and you know, it, the, for the ladies listening, you know, by the time we're, like, 12 and 13, you know, guys start hitting on you, and you start understanding the world to be a different thing. Yeah, now it's eight Very, and nine. <laughs> it, yeah, exactly. Yeah, even, you know, nowadays younger. So, um... Barry almost had just like a little bit of a disdain almost, you know, and it was just real plain that there was nothing on a girl's body that was of any interest to this guy. Michelle Obama, was, Michelle Obama wouldn't be of interest to him physically, so one wonders about those kids. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, that whole situation is quite the sham. I mean, the, the wedding ring that he so he tries to play like that on his left ring finger, mm-hmm. that ring he's been wearing for over 30 years, long before Michelle ever came along. I've heard that. And it has Arabic writing on it, uh-huh. and it's, it's it has a, a, you can find it on YouTube, so you don't yeah. have to take my word for it. You can yeah. just, you know, just, go, you know, put it in the search bar, uh, Barack Obama, uh, uh, no God but Allah. You know, and, yeah. and and ask about the ring. You know, that's a common. Was that was he wearing the ring at that time? No, I well, again, I don't remember okay. that ring. So uh, he was Adam. By the time he dumped into Oxy, and which I kind of believe that he did go to Oxy. I don't believe he went to Columbia, but I believe he went to Oxy because you could be the worst student at Punahou and still get dumped into Occidental. I mean, that's like where. So many Punahou students get dumped into. It's kind of like the, if you're not a good student, all right, you get to go to Oxy. So I think he did go wind up actually. So what I think is that ring he started wearing when he was already uh, in Southern California. Okay. Now, homosexual, drug user, uh, yeah. absolutely. Liar. Let's not Absol- forget that all right, one. All right, we're getting to that. Absolutely dedicated to that lifestyle. Now, you've talked about him conning people. And yeah. along with a, a good con man comes the ability to lie without conscience. We call Absolutely. it we call it sociopathy. Uh, so, or psychopathy. So he was a sociopath then. Now tell us about the lying, which he has been caught doing more than any president in history, as far as I'm oh, concerned. I and you know, I I I wish that I could um, be uh, so much better at and perhaps give you a nice verbatim recollection, oh, I remember he said exactly this, end quote. But I will tell you that it was so often, and and it was always of some self-aggrandizing type thing, some egocentric, you know, everybody's stupid, Barry's the only smart one, mm-hmm. you know, it was always, to, you know, you sort of just left with that, oh, come on, really? You know, so it's always some nonsensical, outlandish thing. And I, I don't remember, like, the exact Razzie. I kind of had, like, a kind of a little bit of a big mouth back now. I guess I was a younger version of myself. I remember <laughs> razzing him mm-hmm. and, um, you know, saying things like, you know, stop lying, Barry. You know, give it up. Stop lying. <laughs> you know, you're making us sick or you're, you know, you're making us tired listening. So I remember we used to razz him for the lying. Was he the kind who would always just kind of flash his teeth and laugh it off? How did yeah. he handle that? 
Um, actually, I'll tell you what my impression was. He actually, when you don't like, you're not one of his customers. Uh-huh. He's got a temper. He's got a temper. So there's times where, put it this way, okay, Barry will size you up, take some inventory, He's see slick. if you're useful, mm-hmm. see if there's something he wants to get off you, mm-hmm. and then he works, puts the game on. If he gets what he wants from you, he's done with you. Now, but there's other times where, like, say, somebody like me and the other people, where maybe he's trying to run game, and then we kind of blurt in, shut up, Barry, you know. Stop lying, or you know, we're like ruining his little short con that he's trying to work. Sure, he's got a temper. I've heard yeah. stories about that in the White House. A couple of them, where he would go yeah. down the hall after meeting with uh, Netanyahu at one point, yeah. and he he would he was yelling, "What yeah. the yeah. f yeah. was that all about?" Because Netanyahu yeah. put him down, and he yeah. kept saying that. What the hell was that all about? What right. you know? He was very very right. angry, and that that it uh, kind of depends. So, like, if he can just. See, we're all customers to him, or we're all, you know, something mm-hmm. to work mm-hmm. or use, right? Got it. So, yeah, but so if you're a, a thorn in his game, and maybe I wasn't, I don't, I'm not familiar with that particular interview with Netanyahu, but if you, you know, start trying to mess up his game, he's not thrilled with you. You know, I mean, he's he's angry because I think he's a shell. He's a walking fictional character. So, you know. The guy he's a walking playing, fictional character. He's whatever I that the, should be the case. Well, he's whatever the situation warrants that'll right. benefit Barry. Right. Yeah. Barry works for Barry. Well, actually, Barry does not work for the American people. He he's uh, and I don't even think he emotionally can even work for his handlers and his bosses, which we all know that's who runs him and the strings are above his head. But he wants to be behind the microphone so mm-hmm. bad because mm-hmm. he's that narcissist and requires the narcissistic supply. But I think some deal must be made, like the handlers say, you do our bidding, we'll let you stay behind the microphone. And so Barry, in order to get his narcissistic drug, I mean, cocaine was his drug of choice, but his new drug of choice is that narcissistic supply, you know, that kind of, I think he would be, that's what, I think he'll do weird, desperate acts um, to, to stay in the White House or to, you know, never give up. You know what he's got. That's the that's the impression. Sure, that's the impression we got. He he'd rather take everything down with him than give it up. Right. Well, uh, that, if you look at narcissistic personality disorder, mm-hmm, I'm talking mm-hmm. about the psychiatric disorder, mm-hmm. and there's plenty of uh, comp, uh, competent science or uh, psychiatrists rather that uh, can give you really nice summaries uh, that have diagnosed Barry, not in person. I mean, have looked at all of his actions and words and so forth. You can find, like, Dr. Sam Vaknin is one where he, you know, gives you a really interesting diagnosis on Barry. But uh, these guys are, you know, and he's, he's in a special club. Like, all the, the worst guys in history had that narcissistic personality disorder. The Pol Pots, the Lenins, the Stalins, the Hitler, So he, okay, Miles. now that, yeah. that leads us to the next stage of our conversation, which we'll do in just a couple minutes, Mia, sure. and that is, how dangerous a man is this guy? Is he, as they say, a killer? He plots out his drone attacks and kind of gets off on that, likes to watch the videos. I, I'm curious about that. How pathologically dangerous is Barry Satoro? And we'll find out with the, the very uh, brave and courageous Mia Pope, how dangerous a man is this narcissist, homosexual, pathological lying, sociopath, psychopath. Now that's, I'm not, I am not professionally qualified to make those diagnoses. I'm simply repeating what the anecdotal evidence points to, according to many, many people, and what we are hearing from Mia Pope. Is he a danger to this country, Mia? Could he do something really stupid? Oh, well, I mean, I believe that whatever loop is playing in his head is nothing uh, close to what a healthy, average person uh, would contemplate, in, you know, regarding matters of compassion or that sort of thing. I'll refer to the DSM-5, um, which is that psycho- uh, psychiatric handbook that they, and regarding this narcissistic personality disorder. And uh-huh. there's the individuals who have spent their life studying these matters. I'm not trained in the area of psychiatric disorders myself. Um, so 
what it requires to qualify as one of these individuals is you must have five of the nine diagnostic characteristics. Okay. So according to this DSM-5, if you have five of the nine, you qualified as a card-carrying narcissistic personality disorder okay. psych case. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, according to these doctors, now like I say, they you know these are people that come from outside of the country. These are people who are not party sensitive. Like you could tell that they're not hired by you know so and so to say whatever. Um, that Barry Sotoro has all nine diagnostic characteristics. A clean so sweep. You, yeah. So so if you and I and like I say, you need not take my word for it. The evidence is all out there with a few clicks. So do please satisfy your own curiosity with this. And so if you take a look at what narcissistic personality disorder is, it sounds like a benign name, doesn't it? But it's, um, it's actually the worst sociopath you can imagine. So what that means is that there's, there, the person just is not even capable of, of having a healthy uh, interaction. And, and furthermore, as you, if you follow up with some of these videos and the testimony of these psychiatrists, They'll say that, like, if you go against him, like, for example, you know, what I'm doing right now, uh, and which I, I'm, I don't fear it, but, uh, you know, in other words, I would deserve to be punished. I would deserve to maybe be killed. Or, in other words, if you go against Barry, you deserve to be punished, you know, because you have the nerve. In other words, there's no self-examination within these people. They cannot lead a self-examined life. They're like sharks. They just... Feed. So if you ask me, you know, is this person a potential danger, he will do anything to serve Barry. And um, once you're that sick freak gone, he's going to want to do everything he can to keep his narcissistic supply coming. So you know, This idea of feeling that uh, people around you need to be punished or disciplined... Right. Otherwise, made to to suffer is is right, really because you had the nerve to not be one of his customers. Exactly, you you don't buy into the stuff, you challenge right. a little bit, and so you should be punished. That's that, right. That, That's that right. is really weird. Yeah, yeah, if you and like I say, uh, you know, you're you're taking it from a person who's done the research on the subject and mm-hmm. not has I've not been clinically trained in that area. Although I'm no stranger to these. You know, I have a bioscience background, so I'm not completely alien to these things. Sure. But, uh, so if you, if you just take a look at what some of his predecessors were capable of, <laughs> yeah, you know, the understand. ones that had mm-hmm. the, the same characteristics, mm-hmm. then, you know, that sort of tells the story. We need only crack a history book to understand what Barry's capable of. Michelle Obama, uh, uh, could could he sleep with her and conceive children, or was this artificial insemination? What? Yeah, boy, good question. You know, and I I, <laughs> I will tell you that back in the day, okay, and mm-hmm. then, remember, this is the 16, 17-year-old kid whose hormones should have been raging. Right. And I was really cute with a little hot bod, mm-hmm. and this guy wouldn't, you know, nothing, like, ugh. Mm-hmm. So I'm just giving you, you know, that's what I can speak to, right? Got and it. then I can also tell that he had no problem, you know, performing sexual acts on men. Mm-hmm. So, well, you know, I, I, chances I didn't are get he, the he, slightest he, indication. It didn't, didn't the, sound like there was any rehabilitation he, potential there at all. I hear you. Yeah, I, yeah and so, you know, <laughs> obviously, I mean, if you just look at, you know, the sham with the wedding rings, you know, and he, you know he's going to take his Allah ring, you know, the wedding uh-huh. Arabic writing, and he's going to use that as his wedding ring. And you know, they must have cut a deal at some point in time where you know, huh, she maybe she thought he'll take me places, so therefore I look the other way. Who knows? And she she's got you know, birds of a feather fly together, so oh, sure. she can't be all that wrapped tight herself. No, she's got. Uh... Some dark things lurking around her. Gotta have it. I mean, 